Are you super, super shy? Has this been stopping you from being confident? Has it stopped you from talking to girls, talking to people, making new friends, trying new things? Well, in this video, I'm gonna explain to you how I went from being shy to being confident. What's up guys, my name is Saifem and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I help the modern Asian American man become more confident, outgoing, and athletic. In today's video, I'm gonna explain to you how I went from being shy to being confident. Now being shy as an Asian American man is pretty normal. We're seen as docile, we're seen as low-key feminine, we're seen as the submissive type of people and that's a huge stereotype and we're seen as the auto minority. We're quiet, we do our things, we live our life as we should. But here's the thing, being shy stopped me from doing a lot of things from middle school up into college. It stopped me from attending clubs at school, from meeting new people, making new friends, going out and interacting with girls, talking to girls, sharing my life story, sharing my message. It stopped me from pursuing my dream job. It stopped me from leveling up my life. And confidence has helped me pursue YouTube, pursue social media, has helped me pursue my dream job as a life coach. It has helped me level my dating life, has helped me conquer my approach anxiety and shifting my mindset. And you might have the same problem. And let me tell you my life story all the way from middle school up until now. So let's get started. Let's go, let's go back to middle school and then I'll explain to you how shy I was, how awkward I was back in the day. So in middle school, seventh grade, I clearly remember this. I was a huge simp. Yes, I was a huge simp. I was head over heels over this girl. I thought she was amazing. Um, she had all the personality traits that I wanted as wifey material because this was instilled in me by my parents. And if you know Asian parents, they're like, hey, you gotta make sure you're friends with her first and then you can start dating. But here's the thing, I was super, super awkward and my parents did not teach me how to be socially inclined or have social IQ, boundaries, all these things. I had to learn this on my own and it was super awkward. If I remember it, it's just cringe. Here's how awkward I was in middle school. I would talk to this girl like 24 seven, right? Every single day. And at the time, texting and calling people were limited. It was all by minutes and how many texts you send. So it was free to call like nine to 10 PM. I would have to call her, her parents would pick up and then I could talk to her. I was talking to her and she had a couple boyfriends and I was there just to listen to like, bro, like that should be me. Right? She shouldn't be talking to those guys. I should be her best friend, her boyfriend. But it didn't happen and that caused a lot of insecurity problems in me. My confidence just went down the drain. Everything went to shit. And this lasted for like four to five years up until high school. You know what I mean? So that affected my confidence quite a bit. And I was just super awkward. I was super shy. I wasn't good at talking to girls. I remember vividly the first time I ever had a hug from a girl. And this is super embarrassing to tell, but yeah, I never hugged a girl in my life until seventh grade. And up to this day, I know a lot of these these friends, these girls, and now I can just talk to them normally. Before, I was super simping over every girl that I thought was attractive, which is super, super awkward, and that is not a way to talk to women. You should be able to talk to them like you talk to, you know, your friends, and be open with them, and understand, and have social IQ. I didn't have any of that. No one taught me that. And also my style and how I looked was nothing like today. You know what I mean? I had glasses, like really bad glasses. I had like that, um, you know, e-boy haircut. I had braces. Um, everything was bad. Like my style, like the typical middle school guy, right? And I was nowhere near confident compared to everyone else at school. Everyone else was athletic. They looked good. Um, and I just wasn't that. I just wasn't myself. So fast forward into high school. So fast forward to high school, it got a lot better. I started to play tennis. I was on the varsity team. I was super confident about that. Um, I started wearing clothes that made me masculine, like tank tops and everything like that. And I started working out and I felt like my confidence was on the rise, but I was still insecure about myself. And here's the thing that changed everything. I started dancing. That same girl that I liked back in middle school, her ex-boyfriend or her boyfriend at the time was a dancer. So I'm like, hey, why not dance? Why not try and press her? Guess what? 
Dancing is very hard, especially break dancing. If you haven't seen my other video when I first started, go over here. I thought I was hot shit at the time, but I wasn't. I started dancing for this girl, but I ended up dancing for myself to express myself because that was one way to express my emotions, to just vibe out and to release all the energy that I had inside me that tennis or working out didn't do for me. And that really helped boost my confidence. People at the school knew I danced. They would walk by me at the cafeteria and say, hey, yo, it's Ty, he's a break dancer. I would do assemblies. I broke my approach anxiety and my anxiety, you know, and help me become more confident. I would never imagine going up and doing a show at a school's assembly. That's just crazy to me because I wanted attention. I wanted attention and I wanted to be accepted and this helped me boost my confidence quite a bit. Also, I changed the way I look. Now I'm gonna post some photos of how I looked before and what I looked in high school. I got contacts. I got a fresh cut, not like right now. The style at the time was a faux hawk, so I rocked that shit for like three years, changed my style, changed the way I wore my clothes, and I boost my confidence that way. I ended up going out and dating a few girls in high school. I even went to Tolo where a girl would ask you out on a date and that really, really boosted my confidence. But during that night, I mean, it was super awkward. I never danced with a girl before and you know, if you want to hear that story, make sure you like this video and subscribe because I will tell that story maybe in the future. Yeah, super, super cringe, but I would love to share that story with you guys. And let me know if this is relatable. Let me know if you can relate to any part of my story down in the comments down below. At the time, I was getting my confidence up. I was dating a few girls. I, I was in a relationship for like three months. And then I had my I had my first like girlfriend in seventh grade. And we dated for like three years. I would let her do whatever she want, like hang out with people. We would talk. Yo, we were, we were having a great time. But she actually dumped me to go back to her ex and that killed my whole self-esteem that catalyst went through to my next relationship and that relationship lasted for a year that was in I believe 2011 to 2012 I dated this girl for a year and I didn't let her hang out with any guys I didn't let her do anything else except hang out with me I was super insecure I didn't let her go to the club I didn't let her do anything that she used to do in her life and that caused a whole rift in our relationship and we ended up breaking up because of that because i was so insecure because of my past relationship and everything that my parents taught me is like hey she should not be hanging out with her guy friends you know what i mean and i didn't trust her and that's the sad part about that relationship and it just drove me insane i stayed single ever since then because i was so insecure i was afraid to get hurt and i wasn't confident in myself that was one of the biggest turns points in my life that got me from being shy to being confident to being insecure and this really killed my self-confidence and everything that I built up to I got fat um, I let myself go and then after the breakup I, I had to go back on the grind I started working out I started dancing seriously and I did things for myself then I went to college college was also a big learning lesson for me I learned that there was limiting beliefs that stopped me from being outgoing you know what I mean there's a difference from being outgoing and being confident. Confidence is for yourself. It's knowing who you are and having self-esteem positively. You know what I mean? But being outgoing is being able to be sociable, is being able to talk to people, making new friends, and having connections. And at the time, I had so many limiting beliefs that I thought parties were for bad people. Drinking was terrible for you. And it is. Drinking is not good for you. But in college, it's a place to experience different things, right? And I had limiting beliefs saying that parties are terrible, going out was bad, going out to clubs was bad, all these things. And it stopped me from making a ton of friends and making connections. Actually, a lot of my friends right now from college are very good friends of mine and I would consider them best friends because we have such a huge connection and I wish I did this more and just talk to people. At the time, all I did was dance, play games, and go to school. That's it. My friends at the time didn't want to be part of the scene of going out to clubs, going out to parties, doing all these things. Even at my dance community, I didn't even talk to anybody in my dance group because we thought choreo was whack. We thought all these things about choreo, we all we thought these dancers were were shit and it stopped me from like actually meeting people and having great connection and just having good talks, you know what I mean? So all these things, all these limiting beliefs stopped me from being more confident, 
more outgoing and it pretty much limited my college experience all i did was play games all i all i had was drama all these things which really tore me down and i wish i had the opportunity to talk to more people go out not even go out to party going out i just mean going out and making new friends and this also stopped me from dating you know what i mean like college is a great way to meet girls and go on dates and find out who you want to be with yeah college was a huge turning point and i remember one thing that really impacted me a lot but before i even tell you about that story if you are an asian american man if you're getting value from this this video is actually brought to you by the asian boss boy now the asian boss boy is meant for you to build muscle to lose weight and get in the best shape of your life so that you can be confident because if you look good you feel good the asian boss boy has a whole catalog of workout tutorials on how to's and is a blueprint for you to get the physique that you want this is a gateway to being confident to being outgoing that's how i got started without working out without training without dancing i wouldn't be here without that i wouldn't be confident in my own body i wouldn't be able to style myself i wouldn't be able to look good and feel good and i want to help you because this is all for free all you need to do right now is sign up down below with your email and you're gonna get a whole catalog whole program designed for you to build muscle to lose weight and to feel good this is still in development and you will be the first one to get access to this so all you need to do right now is click the link down below the first link in the description and you will get a confirmation email and I'll get it sent to you so the story goes that when I was moving out from college back home to Seattle I met this girl who I, I know um, from the dance community and I met her at Starbucks and I'm not gonna say her name but we had a conversation this is the first time I actually talked to her and we, we just sat there for an hour just talking it up and here's the thing that really shocked me the most was like she said this I actually never talked to you before like I know about you but I never talked to you you were very nice you're very outgoing and I always thought you were very intimidating and you didn't want to talk to people I was like what the hell if people really thought I was like this before, I would have made a lot of connections. I would have had an experience in college that I always wanted. But because of my limiting beliefs, it stopped me from doing this. It stopped me from like living and trying new things. But that was a lesson that I took and I really want to change myself. I really want to change the way that I looked at life, looked at making human connections, having relationships, everything. And then when I went back home, man, it was time to get to work. So I might be talking a storm about how I went from being shy to being confident, but this took me a few years to get over, you know what I mean? And now I'm still learning about this. I'm still trying to learn how to upgrade my dating life on how to approach women and how to, how to make connections and increasing my social circle. There's so many things that I need to learn right now. And this whole process has taken me three to four years to get better. And I mean, let me tell you how confidence has changed my life. Confidence has helped me drive myself into being my own person you know what i mean like asian american families they want you to be doctors lawyers and everything like that to make money but here's the thing money doesn't make me happy money helps me get happy but i really want to help people to coach to pursue something in fitness and i'm like fuck that i'm gonna do what i want to do if I have to struggle, I'm gonna do it. I was confident enough to stand up against my parents and say, hey, this is what I'm gonna do. This is my life. Let me do me. I'm not gonna listen to everything that you say. I'm gonna take everything and I'm gonna take bits and pieces and apply it to my life. Without confidence, I wouldn't be able to travel the world solo. I mean, when I traveled to Taiwan with my friends, with my, without my parents, oh my God, that was the best thing that could ever happen to me. I learned so much from that experience. Without confidence, I wouldn't be able to spend thousands of dollars in mentorship. Without these mentorships, I wouldn't be on YouTube. I wouldn't be coaching. I wouldn't be sharing my life on social media. Without confidence, I wouldn't be able to go to Australia, to all these conferences, to meeting millionaire coaches and talking to them. You know how crazy that is? This is what confidence does for you. It, it's not about money. It's not about your, your, your status. It's about how you present yourself and how people see you. That's how important confidence is to me. You might be able to have like the money, the career, everything in place, but if you don't have your social life and your confidence in place, you're nothing. In my opinion, like money is important, family is important, but if you're able to have a social life and talk to people and make new connections, that's all about life. 
So I hope this story relates to you from being shy to being confident. And you might be shy right now. You might be wanting to be more confident in not only in your social life, in your dating life, or even your career life. Yo, I would love to connect with you. So if you are an Asian American man looking to be more confident, outgoing, link is in the description to joining my free group. All right, this is gonna be a place for you to speak openly to talking to me and having a conversation where I can actually help you or we would just have a conversation of like, yo, how can we grow? I'm still learning. I'm not an expert in anything like that, but I just wanna have a conversation with you and I wanna grow together. So if you're an Asian American man looking to be more confident, yo, join my group down below. We'll keep ourselves accountable and let's, let's share some stories. I would love to have a connection with you and uh, let's chop it up. So if, you're, if you like this video and you're looking to be more confident, yo, smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna do a lot more content outside of fitness and I wanna upgrade your social life and your confidence. So with that being said, I hope you like this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.